Good afternoon, my name is Baba Tando. Thanks to Carvel, we're talking sports on news today. Morocco has withdrawn its rights to host the African Cup of Nations next year due to fears of the viral disease Ebola, which has ravaged a number of African countries over the last few months. Moroccan governments through the Federation have given CAF three scenarios to let them host the 2017 Afghan for CAF to postpone Afghan 2015 to 2016 or they pull out completely and take any consequence from CAF. But after the African football body failed to respond to the withdrawal of Morocco, South Africa has been tipped as the next host after Safa President Danny Jordan met with CAF President Issa Hayatu to discuss the matter while also Sudan put up their request to CAF to be considered as an alternative host country. South Africa was initially scheduled to host the tournament in 2017 following the withdrawal of Libya as hosts due to political unrest. Now, today marks exactly five years since 10-man Ghana beat Brazil 4-3 on penalties after there were no goals in the 120 minutes of action to become the first African team to win the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Cairo, Egypt. Mike Horn would have won it for Brazil when the score stood at 3-2, only for him to blast his kick wide. It was actually Alexander Teixeira who blew that kick wide. Tournament top scorer Dominic Adia then drew Ghana level at 3-3 before Alexander Teixeira had his kick saved by Daniel Eje. Uh, Emmanuel Ajiman Bedu then sent his spot kick into the back of the net to give Ghana's team their first under-20 World Cup trophy. Ghana's team as well as Africa's first under-20 World Cup trophy. Now I have in the studio with me the goalkeeper who was in post for Ghana as the Black Satellites um, qualify, as the Black Satellites actually beat Brazil to lift that trophy. Daniel Ejie, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Should I say congratulations to you again mm -hmm. for that wonderful feat you got in 2009? Okay, so congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So it's been five years down the line. Tell me, what are some of the memories that you have from that World Cup? A lot, because uh, you know, when you sit back and and analyze things, you see that you, you you have done a great job for the nation and Africa as well. So anytime that they, they, they've been saying more about under 20, I feel very proud. You feel very proud. I mean, going through the, the penalty shootout, I mean, you went through 120 minutes, there was no score. Remember that um, Daniel Ade was sent out uh, very early in the game, and so you were reduced to 10 men. And then 120 minutes came by, no goals, and then finally you had to do the penalty shootout. What was going through your mind? How were you feeling? Yeah, well, when, when Daniado was red carded, uh, it came to my mind when we went to Wafu, November in uh, Biokuta, in Nigeria. Nigeria. The same thing happened to one of the players, and he was red carded as well. So I thought uh, this is the match that you are going to win on penalties because uh, we, we have done it. Uh, before. It, it has happened before and that was going through my mind so I was just uh, focusing so that we go on penalties and uh, I, I will do something for the nation. I see but you were not tense, you didn't feel under pressure, you were not feeling jittery in the post, nothing? Nothing because I've, wow. been, I, I, I have been studying a lot of great goalkeepers and I've been training as well on goalkeeping so it was very easy for me, not nervous. When my, my colleagues were, were missing, but I was saying I have to also stand firm and uh, defend them. So I, 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 I did exactly as well. And then after, after the penalty shootout, Ghana, Ghana emerged winners of that particular competition. I mean, that moment also tell me, did you, I mean, you were expecting it to happen that way, that Ghana was certainly going to win. I, I, I knew we, we, were, we, were, we were ahead to win something, but I was doubting, but I started... Uh, what made you doubt? Because sometimes we were not uh, making any... Uh, 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 we were not uh, going uh, to, to their goal pool. We are, we are possessing the ball. You were possessing the we ball, but you were not making attempts attempt to, score. To, to score. So I was doubting. Uh, why are we not uh, going towards their, 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 their pool? But when... when uh, we went to the extra time. I, I knew we, Ghana would win, but I was surprised though because it has never happened before. I so see. after saving the penalty and I am really sure. So that's that's you right there in the post, um, getting ready for Costa's shot. And let's see, did Costa score? 
Yeah, he did. He did. I'm sure by then you were you were you were counting your losses and going like, God, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? But hey, it was it was it was it was great. It was great. I mean, just look at you there. So looking at this and you standing here with me now, I mean, what what what's the feeling like? I feel great because, and I'm proud to be a Ghanaian because uh, the first uh, Ghana goalkeeper to win uh, a World Cup a World at Cup that Cup level yeah. for Africa as well. So that was uh, Jonathan Mensah. I think Jonathan missed his 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 kick. And you know, it's, let me share with you some of my memories too. You know, I was there with you in the stadium. Yes, and when this happened, I think I had a, I nearly had a blackout. I. I, I couldn't hold it. I actually couldn't sit through the 120 minutes to watch the game because I was shivering all over. I, I, it, was, it was difficult for me to watch. And then came the red card and it was, I was like, God, we have, we've lost this already. And then we carried it on to 120 minutes and then to penalties. For the penalty shootout, my back was to the pitch. I actually couldn't watch. And then when Jonathan lost it, we're done. So here comes Daniel Ejie again to uh, facing one other Brazilian, uh, Souza, of course, Souza. But Daniel, let, let's, 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 forward, let's fa fast forward now. Um, most of these Brazilian players that you played with at the under-20 level uh, have progressed to their senior team. Not, not all of them, though, but I know Alexander Teixeira. He played for Brazil once or twice. Costa has also gone ahead to do very well. And then uh, I think one or two of them also. But um, what's happening to your squad apart from Dede Ayu and then who else? Do we have Ajman any Ajman Bedu? They are the Jonathan only Mensah. and Jonathan Mensah. They are the Rabiu only. Rabiu Mohamed. Oh, okay. So we have Rabiu Mohamed. Right. We have uh, Jonathan Mensah. We have Dede, and then we have um, so uh, Rabiu Mohamed, Dede Ayu, Jonathan Mensah, Mensah. and then Ajman Bedu. Bedu. Four of them. Yeah. But twenty-three of you went to the World Cup. Don't you think a lot more of you could have been in the Black Stars by now? Yeah. If 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 if, if I may say. A lot of them supposed to be in the Blasters, but some of them are still playing in the local uh, league, and some of them are in outside. Outside, but you see, the time that we we came from the under twenty, we had the opportunity to go to the African Cup of Nations, Nations and yeah. the World Cup. Yeah, that's our, our 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 time. When time was going, there were players also coming from another angle. So yes. some of my colleagues did not get the opportunity to. So there were players who were better than you? Is that what you mean? No, no. There were, there were no players like, like that. Like, but you see, there were opportunities out there. Okay. So there were a lot of people that they were saying there were players abroad. They can also join and see. And when they came, they did exactly well. So they couldn't have the opportunity to be in the squad. But they was with the local blaster. But, I mean, couldn't you have in any way told the FA, told your management uh, uh, committee that, okay, why don't you let us stay as a group? I mean, the 23 of you that went for the World Cup, why don't we stay as a group so that you train us more, so that you, we progress to uh, under 23 and po possibly to, 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 to the senior national team, the Black Stars? I mean, couldn't you have done that? Yeah, we could have done that, but you see everything, uh, I have no say to, to, to go to the uh, senior men to talk because there was a captain like the DRU, but you know Ghana and his, his own staff, they, no, they know how to manage things and do things on their own. So I think we are coming and I know one of these days you you see more. De more of you? Of, yeah. There's uh, Latif Salifu, there's um, Opoku Achiman. All of them are missing in action. I mean, you hardly hear of them. Dominic Adia, we were expecting him in the Black Stars because he was the best player. Uh, at the tournament in Egypt, and of course, he also won. Um, uh, also, when you went for the was it the Wafu yeah. tournament? Yes, yeah. I he mean, the of course. And then you went for the under 20 youth championship, uh, mm -hmm. the African version. Mm -hmm. He 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 managed to win some awards over there. Okay, so this was the kick. Okay, so we're waiting for Ajman Bedou's kick that sent us flying. This was Dominic Adia's uh, kick, right? Mm -hmm. He put it right there. Yes, and then Ajman Vidu's kick uh, actually sent us flying all over. So Daniel, from 2009 until now, of course, we used to see you. Oh yes, that's Bright Adai, right? Yeah. We, we hardly hear of him too. I mean, very good prospect he's for him. He's in uh, Italy, but Parma loaned him to a second division. To a second division yeah. side. Okay, so do you hear from a lot of your colleagues? Yeah, a lot of them. Sometimes we chat on WhatsApp, sometimes oh, I see. we communicate on 
Social network. Social network. Yeah. Okay, I see. So that was you in the post, looking at Teixeira, giving him some sort of pressure. What, what were you trying to tell him with the look on your face over there? Because he missed his kick. Yeah, you know, sometimes when, when you're about to kick, you, the goalkeeper, if you started moving, then they, sometimes they are, they, they are not nervous. Okay. And sometimes if, if you are quiet standing, they, they, they will be scared. And there you were. What were you telling God? I was telling God he has done it. And <laughs> what people were not uh, expecting Daniel AJ to do, he God, did. God helped me to overcome all this uh, uh, problem. And okay, so that was uh, after Teixeira missed his kick. And so what was happening? What did you tell Ajman Bidi? I was telling Ajman Bidi, uh, why he be there with my, you know, my mbongo. Yes, you know, because when we were playing, uh, the, the penalties are training. Mm -hmm. He doesn't take part because of course. he doesn't want to play. Yes, I, I, so and that was it. He, he told me, voila. He, he, he called the daddy to go and play. The daddy said, hey, me, <laughs> who, Ghana. Who called the daddy to go and play? Ajima 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 he said, hey, me, Ghana. <laughs> he called uh, Opuka Ajima. Opuka Ajima, no, no, Ghana. No, no. <laughs> so everybody doesn't want to play. He, 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 he went to, to take the ball and play. So I, I, when he was uh, telling them, I was watching, and I said, no, let me go and give him confidence. So I... I, I oh, so he actually nominated people yeah, to go and play. Yeah. I see. And, and everybody said they, they will not play, so he, he has to go and play. So I said, let me go and... Give him some confidence yeah. and some morale. And lo and behold, so what were you saying over there? What were you With saying? God, all things are possible. Oh, I see. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so we're about wrapping up now, but uh, tell us, what's, what's up with you now? What, what's, what's going on with you now? Yeah, I'm back uh, from South Africa Free State. Now I'm, I'm with Liberty. I've signed for Liberty. I'm training with them, and I, I just want to help them and see what we can achieve in the club and see what next, if I'll travel again or if not, I'll... Otherwise, you would help Liberty, yeah. probably to win the next league? Maybe. Maybe. Otherwise, what is your projection for them? What, uh, what's your prediction? We, we want to be in the top four. You want to be in the top yeah, four. Sure. Liberty hasn't been in the top four for a while now. So Yeah, yeah. Since 2008, that was my, my breakthrough. Mm. I was at the bench where, when Patrick and Kote Blancy, Yaobeku, and Nana Bonzo mm -hmm. was the goalkeeper. So, uh, Jones Atukepi gave me the opportunity that, uh, to, to keep three matches. From then, I progressed a lot. And since then, I've, I've, this is the new day. So after winning the Under-20 World Cup, have you guys gone to say thank you to TV Joshua? Because I'm told he played a major role in you people winning okay, it. For me, I don't know much about uh -huh. uh, What TV happened yeah. behind the scenes, yeah. OK? So I think the captain, Sala Stata, will know better. <laughs> because they know. What really yeah, was going on. Because uh, me, always, you know, you were there. I, I, I'm always indoors, so I don't, I don't know. You never used to go yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. But did you hear that TV Joshua played a role in the, in the... I didn't I didn't hear anything from the players, but when, when the we, we, we came back to Ghana, I started hearing everything. If it's true, then they have to go and thank him. Thank him you have to go and thank him as well, because you're part of the team. Yeah, but nobody told me <laughs> about this. If, if okay. they say we should go, you will go. why not? You because, will go. yeah, we are, we, are, we are a team. All right. When you move, you have to move as a team. All right. Daniel Ajay is, uh, he was a member of the under-20 team that beat the entire world to lift the under-20 FIFA World Cup in Egypt in 2009. Today marks exactly five years since that happened. Uh, we wish him all the best in his uh, future endeavors. Uh